Arash from the Prehab Guys here, Doctor of Physical Therapy. We're gonna be talking about shoulder pain and the bench press. This is a common question that we get, and we're gonna take you guys through a three-step procedure to make sure that you can bench press pain-free again. So step number one, Craig, let's have you. Craig, by the way, here is the number one bench presser here in California. So what we're gonna have Craig do is have you bench press. Let's go, let's go down. So Craig's laying down. First thing he's gonna do is tuck his feet in, make sure that his pelvis stays stable. And then from here, his, the bar should be at about eye height. So Craig should scoot down a tiny bit so you can see here that the bar is about at eye height for him. Now, in terms of the hand placement, let's have Craig bring his arms out to his side where his fingertips are should be about the width of his hand here. So let's go straight up and now grab onto the barbell. Now this is Craig's starting position. Craig, let's have you lift the weight up. There you go. And so now what Craig's gonna focus on is bringing the uh, fingertips in together. This is called bending the bar. This is gonna make sure his scapula stays strong. Also think about retracting the shoulder blades, pulling back the shoulder blades. Now off a strong staple of scapula, that shoulder blade in the back there, Craig is gonna go down and bench press. Go down nice and controlled and then push up. So what Craig's gonna focus on at the bottom position here is that the bar should be just below nipple height. So we can see here, that when the bar comes down, Craig is going just below nipple height. For females out there, it's about your bra line, and then Craig's pushing back up. This is gonna make sure that he gets good activation from his pec and triceps, and then push up. So uh, the next step that we're gonna go to is modifying the movement. So there's a couple different things that we can do to modify the movement. We know that we can either stress the shoulder used by using the pec, or we can stress the elbow by using the triceps. So if we want Craig to take some stress off of the shoulder, we're gonna bias the triceps a little bit more. How we're gonna do that? Narrow the grip. So we can see here, Craig now is narrowing his hand placement to about shoulder width. Now Craig, let's lift the weight up. Lightweight for Craig here. And then let's go down. And you can see here that the moment arm to his shoulder is less. His elbow is coming closer to his torso. So his body, his elbow itself is closer to his body. It's not flared out, the elbows are tight. And Craig does that pretty well. You're gonna feel more of the triceps with this than the pec. That's because we're loading those muscles more, taking some stress off of the shoulder. What we can also do, if the regular bench press bothers you, Craig, is just modify the movement by going through a little bit less range of motion. So we can put something on Craig's chest here. This is gonna make sure Craig doesn't go all the way down. We'll go through the regular bench press, so shoulders out, hands straight, yep. Find that width. And now when Craig does the bench press, he's gonna go through the exact same motion that he normally would, shooting for just below nipple line, but now he's going through less range of motion. What happens at the bottom position of the bench press is that people get this anterior translation and stress the front of the shoulder. And that's what creates a lot of people's discomfort when they bench press. So what we do here, modify the range of motion that someone goes through. And then if these two things help, what I would challenge you to do is slowly actually dose back in the range of motion and bringing the elbows out to your side or out a little bit more as you feel more and more comfortable. Step three is making sure you warm up. A lot of people warm up by just going light, but what we're actually gonna go through are two very easy exercises that you can perform anywhere. Let's do a banded pull apart here. So number one is a banded pull apart where Craig has a light band, making sure that he can pull the band apart by squeezing the shoulder blades. So let's go for 10 reps, and we can see that Craig gets great activation in the shoulder blades. Remember how when we bench press, we're staying strong back there because the shoulders move on the shoulder blade, and we wanna make sure the shoulder blade stays strong and active. So we're gonna go 10 reps here. Again, lightweight, you don't have to go too crazy with this. Exercise two will be shoulder taps. Let's get on the floor, Craig. Making you work. We got a little pump. A little pump. All right, so scapula engaged, his shoulder blades are pushed out, and now he's slowly tapping one shoulder and then tapping the opposite. You can see how he's not rotating a lot with this exercise. He's keeping the body straight. If I had a glass of water right here, it's not spilling because Craig's moving with control. Debatable. If you're <laughs> Debatable. If, if Craig was moving all over the place, this is not controlled and we want to actually modify that, making sure that he can control this a little bit better. This is looking perfect. We're shooting for 10 reps here. He would go back and forth with each exercise for three sets, 10 reps of each. And that in itself would be a great warm up just to go into uh, 
uh, prior to going into a bench press. So Craig's doing an awesome job here and he can stop at 10. But again, just recapping for all you guys out there, that's good, Craig. Recapping for all you guys out there, three easy steps that you can do for bench pressing pain-free again. Step number one is making sure that you have good form, pull the shoulder blades back, make sure that you tighten the grip by pulling the finger, uh, fingertips together. Um, step number two is modifying the movement itself. This is by decreasing the range of motion or by going a little more narrow to making sure that you get the more, more triceps and less pack. Step three is just making sure that you get a good, a good uh, warm up going. Not just going lighter on the bench press, but actually warming up the muscles that we want to, to appropriately perform the bench press pain free. So this is our first video that we're creating on YouTube in this long form format. Let us know what you guys think about this. Give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and drop a comment below on what else you guys want to see. Thanks for tuning in, guys.